hi, it's John here again with another video on the Galaxy S8. This one I'm going to show you how to actually downgrade from Horio back to Nougat. So perhaps you're not happy, it's too, you know, buggy and the battery life isn't so good, so maybe you want to just go back and have a nice stable phone yet again. Okay, so to downgrade you're going to load the Samsung Members app, click on Settings, and here, at the bottom, you click Galaxy Beta Program. If it asks you to verify your account, click OK. OK, so once you've clicked on that and your account's been verified, you can see here at the bottom you can deregister. So if we click on that button, you will be deregistered from the program. Okay, so once you're deregistered from the Samsung Members Oreo Beta registration, you're going to want to download Samsung Smart Switch, which is available from the Samsung website. Download for Mac or Windows and run the installer. So, plug in your phone, your S8, that is. Press allow on the screen if it pops up to ask if you want to allow the connection to the PC. And you'll see here that you get a message saying that a new version is available. Well, it just appeared to have lost the connection. Let's try again, there we go. So, new version is available, so we've got the phone plugged in, USB. We'll put that down so we don't accidentally knock it, and we are going to click on the update button here. Okay, so it gives you some details here, the current version, and the latest version it's going to go to. Now this will be the Nougat version. So this software update, reversing back to the latest official software version, will initialize your device and remove your data and information. Please back up your data and information prior to deleting the beta software version. You acknowledge and you understand that you are unable to back up any of your data and information that you created or changed while using this beta software version. So once you're happy you have backed up all your data, because this will erase everything, Click the continue button. You'll then be cautioned here with the following. A rooted device may cause updates to fail, unstable mobile phone operation and or other problems. It is recommended to use an official Samsung USB cable, which I am. Samsung is not responsible for any malfunctions caused by using a third party USB cable. Fully charge the battery. Please back up your data, data that has not been backed up may be deleted. Updating. Please do not open any menus by pressing any buttons. Do not connect any other mobile phone, mobile devices, MP3 players, cameras, external hard drives, etc. to the PC. You cannot use the core function and please do not disconnect the cable until the update is complete. So I'm running this. I've got 56% battery. I think that should be enough. The phone is obviously charging at the same time this is happening. So I'm going to click all confirmed. The software is now downloading the update components. I wouldn't expect this to be the actual firmware that's going to go on because it's quite quick. And the firmware is about two gigabytes. We'll click yes on here. So this is just the component itself. And here we go, so this is the actual firmware update downloading.
so once the download is complete, you will get a message on your phone similar to this. Okay, so I've had some problems with the uh, update not going through, so I had to restart the phone and come back into Smart Switch. Now, basically, my device manager was showing a warning sign next to a uh, sort of not an unknown device, but uh, it hadn't got the drivers for it. So, for some reason, Windows hadn't picked up the phone when it had gone into recovery mode. So, I've come back in. I've restarted the phone by holding down the power and volume down button for 10 seconds. I've given it about five minutes to load, you know, just settle down once it rebooted, and now I am trying again. So we'll leave this in the background here, and hopefully we shall see a successful update this time. So what's currently happening, if we just have a look in the device manager, is the plugin software it was running at 80 megabits per, megabytes per second on the disk so it's obviously verifying the file now this time the phone has been detected we have a sort of a normal looking Samsung USB composite device which is great the phone itself is on the screen here, if I just scroll down. So we can see now that the file is being transferred across to the phone. Okay, so we've got the confirmation here that the update is complete. So we have now successfully downgraded to Android Nougat. Hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like if you did down below and if you want to leave any comments or questions please do so. The only thing to watch out for here is the problem I had with the USB not being recognized once the phone rebooted initially. So if that does happen to you Press and hold, volume down, and the power button for 10 seconds. Reboot it, and try the process again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.